I have a young man that messages me quite frequently asking me to give him really specific instruction and guidance as to not only being wealthy but setting himself up to have a great retirement. When I say young man, I mean this guy can't be more than 19 years old at the most. I'm thinking he's still a teenager. That's fantastic. That really is fantastic. That's awesome. Uh, of course he's black, you know, so he feels comfortable asking me. But here's the bad news. They've done studies and they have concluded that fewer than half of blacks have anything saved for retirement. Now, let me start off by saying they have, in general, studied, and today, you need $1 million in savings and assets and set-asides to have a successful retirement. That means to have to be able to pay your bills without working, pay not only your expenses, but have spending money for your retirement, and a lot of people like to travel during their retirement, so to have traveling money as well and to be able to buy gifts, and to be able to have cable TV and a cell phone. I mean, we're not talking outrageous stuff. We're not talking that, that you're going out and buying Lamborghini. People don't understand what retirement is. Retirement means that you no longer work. Now, if, if you can understand then, when you see these titles of books that says such and so person is going to retire at 60 such and so person is going to retire at 50 how to retire at 45 how to retire at 35 how to retire at 30 that's what they're talking about they're talking about that you're going to have a million dollars a million dollars today does not mean a million dollars when it was originally coined as being an accomplishment in the 70s. Having a million dollars now isn't the same thing as in the 70s. In the 70s, a million dollars, we're not talking about it was a whole lot of money, but it made you have a lifestyle that most people could never dream of. But today, a million dollars does not give you a lifestyle that you can't dream of. We're talking about you're paying your expenses, you're paying your bills. So black people, they have found less than half have nothing, nothing, none, zero, set aside for retirement. That is terrible. And I have said in videos on social media that if I were president, I would get rid of all of the government subsidies based on the retirement social stuff, right? So no more Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security, I would get rid of it completely. Originally, it was supposedly implemented, although it was a complete lie, and it is is still a lie. Social Security was built on the lie that we want people to have something to be able to fall back on when they each reach the retirement age. And at a very minimum they will have this but it, it has nothing to do with being able to pay your expenses and all that sort of stuff so it, it's not you don't have a million dollars waiting for you at retirement through social security and in fact it taxes people who will never see social security think of the guy who dies at 30 he's worked for 10 years already he paid into social security he will never see Social Security. So think of all of those people who die. How many people even reach the age 60? How many people? Not a whole lot. We don't have 330 million people reaching the age 60 in the United States. We have a few, but we don't have a majority. You know, we still have people dying in childbirth, dying in, in, as an infant, dying as a, to as a toddler. No, they're not paying into Social Security, but you understand my meaning, right? Life is not promised to you. And that was the whole point of the lie. First of all, they said it at 60 or 62 at the very beginning, back when people didn't even live to see 60 or 62. And they keep bumping it up and up and up. Now, it is the worst Ponzi scheme ever. I mean, it's the most egregious Ponzi scheme ever. And we have black people who are reaching retirement age and they have nothing set aside 
Social Security is not going to do anything for you. And not only that, we can't even afford, as a government, as the federal government, we can't even afford it now. We don't have enough people working, paying into the system now to even be able to pay for the people who, do you know that there will be 8,000 people turning 65 each and every day in the year 2020? 2020 is not that far off. That means we are not, we are going to be completely bankrupt. The system's already bankrupt, but we won't even be able to, um, unless we're just going to be printing money to pay for people on social security. And here's the thing. There's ways to fix social security right now that can make it solvent right now that they are not doing because the powers that be don't want to fix it. Now, I just made a video telling you that I was going to give you financial literacy. I want you to watch that video and thumbs up that video. I want us, we black people, to do for ourselves. I know this is YouTube and it's not my company, but my company runs my channel. So this is a business. Let's do for ourselves. Let's do something for ourselves. Let's not have a 40 million view rap video be the only thing that we can accomplish, right? You see, what, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to take away anything from anybody, but I'm saying let's have something positive as much as we have something negative. And rap is negative. It's not even written by us. Do you understand that part? In 2020, 8,000 people per day are going to be retiring. 8,000 people per day. We don't have 8,000 people per day entering into the job market to be able to pay into Social Security. You understand that Social Security is a big giant Ponzi scheme, right? The people at the bottom, the 20 year olds, start paying into Social Security so that the people at 65, uh, 68 or 70 can take out of Social Security. If it's nuts, and that means that it's just solvent. It's not even solvent, solvent. it's bankrupt now and in 2020 it's gonna be crazy. So I wanna make sure that we I want you to support my efforts to get black people to financial literacy. I believe 90% of our problems that we face as black people will disappear. I want us to be autonomous, yes, that means separate but equal, and be able to, to stand on our own feet, just like Bill Cosby was trying to say, just like Do Dr. Claude Anderson is trying to say, just like Dr. Umar Johnson is trying to say. I want us to be able to stand on our own feet and do for ourselves so that we don't need any social security or any of these other social programs if you are financially literate you know how to get a million dollars by the age of retirement at retirement it's trust me it's not a big number can you trust me on that one it's not a big number it's not as big as you think it is it sounds like a lot because in the 70s it was a lot and people are still relying on what they were told in the 70s or relying on the feeling that the people had in the 70s about it. You might not be old enough to... I know my, my, my videos reach people of all ages. A million dollars is not a lot of money. But I'm going to be able to teach you how to get that million dollars by retirement. Do you know that if you just... When you just work in the United States, even somebody on minimum wage, three million dollars flows through your hands that means you get three million dollars in paychecks over the course of your lifetime even if you worked a minimum wage job so if i could teach you how to hold on to 50 percent of that how's that possible right if i could teach you how to hold on to 50 percent of that you would be wealthy right by the end of your life even if you never got a five cent raise and i know some people are, are really skeptical well how can i hold on to 50 percent? i don't have any well the thing is you spend a lot on junk that you do not need and when people say well i need my cell phone you don't need a cell phone i don't have a cell phone does that shock you i have a phone but i don't have a cell phone i don't i don't have a house phone i can show you in this day and age how to be so technologically advanced that you don't need those things i don't watch tv I don't do a lot of things. I, I live in a nice home though, right? I have tons of food, right? But I don't do things that are not necessary. And I'm sure you've heard about the, pe the, the, 
rich guy who uh, scraped and scrimped just to get by so that one day he could have a, a billion dollar business. And that happens a lot. Anyway, I just want to make sure that you support my project to bring financial literacy to the black community. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.